Hey there, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to share my review and thoughts on the FabFitFun box. If you're not familiar with FabFitFun, they are a, a quarterly subscription service. Uh, they come out seasonally. Um, it's random. Um, it could be beauty, home, you know, lifestyle. Uh, it's not just one specific category. Um, I wanted one of these for a while. Uh, and last year I ordered the uh, Summer Editors box. Um, and I really, I, well, I thought that I enjoyed it. We'll get into that. So I was able to go ahead and do the annual subscription. So I got four more boxes. Um, and this is the last of my yearly subscription. So I'm gonna share this with you and then I'll tell you uh, at the end of the video my full thoughts on this service and if I would recommend it if it's worth the price. So the first item in my box, oh and I just wanna say because I was an annual um, subscriber when this box released, I was able to customize everything. That is a new feature for annual subscriptions. You can pick everything that's in your box. And I actually got two additional things. Um, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> it's fine with me. Uh, but there's two things that I did not pick. But they, everything that I did choose did come. So it's not like they replaced something. If that makes sense. Uh, so the first thing I got was a Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. Faint watermelon smell. It's a nice mister though. So yeah, I got this because, um, well, I'll just tell you. A lot of the products that I've received in past boxes, I'm getting no use out of. Uh, you know, while it was a great value, uh, it, it's not. <laughs> if you don't use the products, it's still a waste of money. So I really thought about the products that I chose this time because I wanted to make sure I would get use out of them. Um, and this is definitely, I use lots of sprays. Um, so I'll definitely get use out of this. This is not gonna go to waste in my collection. Okay. And again, something that I chose and I was really excited to see in this box. Um, this is the Super Goop Unscreen Sunscreen. Um, this is like $45, but I need a good sunscreen. Of course we all do. And this is SPF 40. Um, and I've heard good reviews about it, that it sits well under makeup and things like that. Um, but again, the reason I chose this is because I know I'll get use out of it. Um, we're back on the campground this year, thank goodness. So we didn't get to go last year. Um, so this is going, we're going, uh, well, when you watch this, we'll be gone. Um, but we're leaving tomorrow and this is going straight in my bag. And I'll just go ahead and another thing that I got specifically because we are uh, camping again is this picnic mat hold up I don't want to unroll it <laughs> it's gonna be too big but it's a picnic blanket that you just unroll and fold out it's a cloth material it doesn't feel like plastic water resistant bottom um, yeah so I thought this will be perfect uh, to sit on the ground let, let Penelope play on uh, just relax on have a picnic um so i'm definitely again i'm going to take this right with me to the campground i'm pretty excited that this was a, an option this time i've been into the kitchen into in the kitchen a lot lately because um we're getting a meal service well so i'm going to be doing a video on that soon um but that being said this was one of the choices you could make um and i thought sure i don't have one of them and a lot of these recipes do actually call for juices and stuff, which is not something I, I ever did. Um, so, I mean, it, it'll be good to have in the kitchen. I don't know how much juice I'll get out of it, but I'm sure more than what the other products had to offer. So, I am excited to have it. It's a really thick plastic, but it feels good. I've never had one of these, and I'm 32 years old. And again, for the kitchen, is this Ray Dunn set. Um, again, I I don't know how much use I'll, I'll actually get out of this, um, but I can use this as uh, decor in the kitchen at the very least. I'm I'm not a Ray Dunn collector. I have one mug. Okay, so what it is, it's just two little ceramic dishes. One says guac and one says salsa, and it comes with two little wooden spoons. 
Um, I do eat both of these. Um, you know, maybe if we have a get together, which is doubtful, um, I could use these, but they will work as just for decor in my kitchen. So uh, I did choose these again. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, again, I don't know much about Ray Dunn. I just thought this was cute and I could get use out of it. I could have a purpose for it. The next thing that I chose again for the kitchen is this adorable melamine, melamine, I believe that's how you say it, tray, heavy plastic. Um, I love that pattern. Again, it's going to be for decor in my kitchen. I may use it as a serving platter. <laughs> a baby. Um, so yeah, I probably would most use this as a serving platter. Um, but again, this is a choice I made. Um, and I'm going to keep saying that because what I've found with my past boxes is the stuff is exciting when I get it. But I've, there's some of it that I've never touched. It's brand new, never opened, and I think that is a complete waste. So I can use this in my kitchen. I didn't realize that I got everything from my kitchen, kitchen or outside, um, which I'm okay with it. This is just a cute little silicone pineapple ice cube tray. Yeah, real cute for your summer drinks. Yeah. So yeah, those those are all the products that I personally chose myself for the box. And like I said, there are two others that were in here. This one I have received before, and it's one of those things that it's still brand new, sitting in my drawer, never touched it. It's a fruit lip mask. Maybe I'll try to take this with us. You know keep my lips from getting maybe sunburn or too chapped by the wind. Um, that was in there. And this I'm pretty excited about. And this I will take um, take with this. And I've heard people talk about this before, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. I don't drink enough water. I don't drink near enough water. Um, so this is, well, <laughs> this is the Liquid IV Hydration Multiplier. It's an electrolyte drink mix. Um, it comes with three samples. Oh, this is samples. So it comes with three samples, lemon, lime, strawberry, watermelon, and you just add it to your water. And it's supposed to give you two to three times more hydration than water alone. So uh, that's good. I'll definitely try that. I did get some more uh, items with this delivery, but they're items that I purchased separately that is one of the things that i do like about the box is you get access to their shop where they have loads of different products that are decently discounted um and i've the things that i've purchased from that are the things that i use the most not my actual box products so let's start first with this fake 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 tan i'm trying to do this this year and getting outside I'm just trying to get a tan. I just don't want to. I've never had one. And these were uh, marked down to $11 each, which I think is a, is a pretty good deal for these. I think they're normal, like $20. Um, so I got two of them. And they do come with the mitt. They're the liquid, liquid spray. I'm pretty excited about those. Then I chose to pick up this nail polish by Smith & Colt. Just a pretty lilac color. A heavy one. This was maybe five dollars, but I, I know this brand is like eighteen dollars for one of these polishes. But I think this was five, so I decided to try it. Uh, and then the other things I picked up, I picked up three more things just from the sale. Um, I picked up these blue light glasses. They're a little bit bigger than I thought, um, but they were seven dollars. Uh, blue light filtering glasses. I, I think everybody knows about them though. Now they're good for um, using when you're on your phone or on the computer to help eye strain. At least that's what we're told. And the last two products I got are from Illamasqua. Illamasqua, however you say it. Um, this is a uh, kind of a hard brand to get a hold of. I think you have to order off of their website. Um, or I think maybe Beauty, Beauty Bay might have them. Anyways, they're pretty pricey, um, so I seen them on there and thought I'd try them out because I've never tried anything from there. This is a highlight. Look, just look how pretty it is in the pan. This was $14, uh, regular $34, I believe. So I thought that was a good deal. Another product from there. 
I'm pretty, this was less than 10. I can't remember. I'm going to try to put the prices on the screen. It's this gorgeous red maroon pigment. It's like, it's not a cream. It's like a pressed powder. Um, it's called the uh, Iconic Chrome Pigment Paint. And this is in Passionate. So, yeah. That's everything that I received this quarter. Um, I do have my little pad here because uh, there's some things that I want to talk to you about in regards to my full review on the box. Again, I have received now five boxes. I've done this for a full year. Um, my first box was $42.39 with the discount that everyone has a discount code. I believe I can get one. I'll link it down below if you do want to try it. Um, and then the and that's what's going to run you seasonally. Actually, it's going to be a little bit more than that because that's discounted. Um, but for an annual subscription, four boxes, it's $190.78. Um, that's a lot of money. A lot of, a lot of money. And it's hard for me to judge now um, because they, did, they have brought out the option for you to customize everything. Um, if that was not now an option, I would flat out say, no, it's not worth it. Um, because I, there are so, so many products that I have received. Um, I'm going to try to put a slideshow here. I'll flick through of all, all of the products I've received. Out of all of those products um, that's going to be scrolling through the screen right now, uh, the ones that, are, that I like that are being used are the mason jar water bottle. The Jenny Bird bracelet, the umbrella, um, the makeup uh, remover rounds, and the letter board. That's five things out of all of those um, products that you're seeing. And those five things would not equal $190. So, well, they say that the bracelet retails for $135, but I think that's a huge markup. I don't, I don't believe that personally. Maybe it is, but... Uh, the, even still, if it was $135, I would have never purchased it if it was. So, it still doesn't equal out to me at, at all. Um, and as far as that goes, like, there are, I have wrote, I have wrote down here so I keep looking down. The things that I've ordered separately from the store, I love those. But paying that subscription is to be able to access those brands that it's not working out um, in terms of cost um, so in overall my true and honest opinion is it is not worth it um, maybe if you want to do it I would suggest trying a couple months um, seeing if you if you like the products if you get use out of it you can cancel at any time um, but I will not be continuing my service a subscription with them because I just I don't like it it's not cost effective in my opinion um, yeah and like I said it, if you're gonna use these things and maybe someone who does not have a collection like I do of beauty products of you know skincare hair care makeup um, you, you might like it but for me in my collection the things that I'm sent are never better than the products that I already own so they end up just getting pushed to the side and that's just a waste of money um, I could buy things that I really like for the cost of that box or what I spent annually I could have purchased so many things that I actually want to try um, not just a bunch of random stuff I'm not saying that any of it's junk or that it's poor quality it's I just don't want it <laughs> that's bad but I don't want it um, and again, this is coming at a weird time when they're doing the customization, um, because everything that I received this month, I can see myself using, I can see myself putting to good use, but I don't know if the products that are going to be offered in future boxes are going to be ones I want to use. Um, and they do offer a, a fairly decent variety between home and lifestyle and exercise and you know beauty and things like that so I, I'm I'm really confused I because if I could get more homey bits um, then maybe it would be worth it but I 
truly don't know. I'm gonna cancel uh, for sure, and then I'll probably wait to see um, if you, there's a subscription addiction website, and they always post all of the options, all of the you know spoilers and options. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel, and then I'll probably keep up with that for the next two boxes to see what all options they're offering. And if I see that they have a good variety of home and other um, options, not just beauty, then maybe I'll resubscribe in the future. But as of right now, I cannot fully recommend this product. Um, again, unless you know you're getting use out of each of these things, it is not worth it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I just can't recommend them. Um, especially the price. I have always really loved beauty subscriptions. I love getting them every month. Um, but it's been so long now that I've started, you know, growing my collection that it just adds to my collection. It, it, it's no, there's no value in it because I'm not using it. And I end up giving it to someone else and, and that's just a waste of money. What are my thoughts on the FabFitFun subscription boxes? Um, I hope this was helpful. I'll try to put all the information that I can below. Um, I, I know there's going to be a discount code out there. <laughs> That's all I have to say about this box. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.